what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video today i wanted to revisit another app from earlier this year or last year who knows and that was ambi white noise now i took a look at ambi white noise a while while back and you'll see the date on the screen um and i was notified that the ui of this application has completely changed from when i last looked at it it's been windows 11 11 if if that's even a thing um, so here it is right in front of you. This is Ambi White Noise. So jumping straight into it, you can already see the differences if you saw the video in the past, which I'll put in the description box for you guys to look at. Um, it has changed a lot. Um, everything used to be blocky before. Things were kind of harder to click on before. And now everything is just so rounded. And if you like rounded corners, it has a lot of rounded corners. Rounded corners around the app itself. Rounded corners around each uh, type of scene you can click on. Uh, rounded corners against every element. And then complete rounding of buttons and everything like that. Um, yeah, so that's essentially that's kind of like the new stuff. It's, it's adopted a lot of the new um, iconography of Windows 11. So like... Uh, if I click on the sound control here, right here above this little watermark here that I will eventually upgrade, update Windows finally. I will activate it soon, I promise. Uh, you can see that we got a circle and a line. And of course, Ambi White Noise picks up the line and the circle right there. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of in the same ballpark of UI of Windows 11. Uh, another thing here you can see, uh, it's a nice, in my opinion, it's Ambi White Noise is that application that um, if you connect your computer or you have a home theater PC, if you're one of the few who has that, and you want to just put the lights down low on your fade and just place some fireplace and things like that, Ambi White Noise is something that can just do that. So if you click this, I'm going to hit that and hit start. Uh, so you can hear the sound of a fireplace playing. Um, I don't know. I hope my microphone is not picking it up as well because I don't have headphones on. But you can hear that playing as well. And it says you can add up to three sounds. Um, in fact, give me one second to actually uh, switch over to some headphones. Play it correctly for you guys and you guys can still hear me. So it has the UI overall has changed. That's really the main thing that I'm looking at at in this little revisited video of this app. Um, one thing that I can tell you right off the bat is up here. Up here, these buttons here, the home and the catalog button here, they don't seem to fit in with the whole style of the application, in my opinion. These buttons are almost oval in nature, and it's kind of weird to me. I kind of feel like um, he should have just picked and just made it um, kind of rounded squares instead of or rounded rectangles instead of just almost oval-like because it's a little bit too much uh, rounding on it. Um, other than that, the UI of it is really cohesive and consistent. Like I said, you still hear the fireplace in the background. So let's say I want to have the fireplace, and you can set individual volume for each each uh, preset. Let's say I want a fireplace, and then I want to also add, I don't know, uh, thunder. So listen closely. So you hear the fireplace doing its thing, and then you also hear thunder in the background. and you can even add one more thing to the whole thing. And let's say I want to add in, I don't know, let's say I want to add cicadas because some people like cicadas. So I'll hit download on cicadas and then I'll go back home and you see cicadas has been added. So if I click cicadas now on top of thunder, which obviously when it's thundering, you never really hear cicadas. They're usually quiet. But now you hear fire, you hear cicadas, and occasionally you'll hear thunder. And there you go. So it's a very calm, zen experience, Ambi White Noises. And you can even set timers on how long this thing should last. So I can hit 30 minutes and these things will just keep playing for 30 minutes straight. Um, so that's pretty dope. So let me pause these out right there and then just right click. So when you right click any of these options here, it tells you where he got the sound file from. So you can see White Noise dot wave by george 000 and you can see it's at this freesound.org and the exact link to it is there um, i'm not sure if you can click it but it is a creative commons use so he is allowed to use it tells you where the image came from and everything unsplash uh, if you go to catalog here these are all free anything with a download logo here means you're able to download it right away um, you go down here obviously you see plus which i don't have the plus version um, but these obviously cost extra 
Uh, in fact, let's see how much extra. Is there a way to see how much extra? It's 99 cents per month. So if you really, really like these kind of Zen sounds, uh, you can support the developer putting them all together instead of having to look on YouTube and search for them um, for 99 cents a month. See, it says support development, growing catalog, if I can read, and then access premium high quality sounds. So in a nutshell, there's not much to this application at all. You can also save your presets, save your sound custom mix. So if I hit save and I can set optional, I can be like um, serene. There you go. And then hit check. And now I've saved this custom mix right there and it is there. So we got some other um, elements here. You got a custom, you got a compact mode here. So if I go through, you see this is compact mode. And if I click it again, it opens it up. You got here, you got a theme setting. So if you click it right now, you have this theme. I can hit kind of like the Windows XP kind of theme. Uh, you can choose all kinds of things. I kind of like this theme, honestly. In fact, I'm going to pick that theme. You can even hit browse and then you can upload your own photo as a theme. Um, there's a whole bunch more. There's screensaver mode, which pretty much is what you expect it to be. It's a screensaver. Um, share a link, all the usual information that I expect from a developer to have, the way to contact the creator. That is something important to me in terms of looking at these apps. If they don't have that, I'm always going to call it out, but this person does. Settings, you can see the settings. You can see if you want to turn on telemetry data or not. Um, I don't use it enough, but if I want to turn it off, I can turn off telemetry data. So let's say if anything goes wrong, uh, with the application and you want help from genius apps uh telemetry data that he's receiving will help him help you out so that's kind of what that's for and so on like that and you can also hit this plus button here and that's sign into your microsoft account and all this does which i haven't done and i don't really need to do is um all this does is allow you so whatever your presets are whatever your stuff that you have is um it allows you to have uh, all the same things that you've downloaded, all your presets and everything like that, uh, preset onto your next computer or device that you use it with. So that's pretty dope. So in a nutshell, it's it's a nice application. I gotta admit, it is nice. It works very well. It's clean. It's very simple. Uh, I guess the one thing that I'm kind of confused about is uh, where I get that preset that I saved, where I pull that from, and I don't see where I pull it from. But when I find that out, I'll put it in the comment section below. I'm sure someone will mention it in like two seconds. But in general, uh, if you like applications like this, kind of like vibe type applications where you just click it, you start a sound and you can just study to the sound of, I don't know, an ohm chance. Let's click that. Or maybe if you like trains. Uh, and then let's go back here. One last thing. I just want to, uh-oh, the application crashed because I did too much. So that is another bug. That is a bug actually that I had found before, but I was hoping it wouldn't show up is... Um, I was hoping that things wouldn't crash. So I think the idea is if I click too many things at once, it crashes. Let's see. Okay, so it didn't crash that way. All right, so catalog. We're going to do one more crash test. The crash test to replicate it, it happened when uh, I clicked and downloaded two things at the same time. So let's find out. It looks like it works now for some reason. I'm not sure what happened before, but point is you got different sounds. You got walking on snow. And, oh yeah, actually, in fact, here's my Serene preset. It just blended into the whole application. That's what happened. Um, we're gonna add fireplace to that. So you're walking on snow and you got a fireplace. I'm gonna lower walking on snow a little bit because it's kind of loud. There we go. I wanna hear the fireplace more. Imagine closing your eyes hearing this. And then let's say the final thing too, because sometimes uh, together you might also have, uh, let's say, you might also have cicadas, even though cicadas don't come out in that kind of weather. So now you have cicadas, you have a fireplace, and you hear you're walking on snow. So imagine you got a bonfire, and there are cicadas because it's nighttime, or it's, there are cicadas out, and you're walking on snow while you're around your bonfire. It's kind of that experience that you have. And if you want to save it, boom, I want to save it as... Uh, stuff and hit check you see stuff appears because i was blind before and that's what happens so that is essentially it that is ambi or ambi white noise in a nutshell um made by genius applications or genius apps it is a free application with a 99 cent per month subscription to it so that way you can support the developer with all the new releases and things like that but it's free overall to use for the basic stuff let me know what you guys think about this application the new version of it in the comment section below do you prefer the old one 
or the new one, let me know. And if you're a developer or you know any application you want me to take a look at, let me know as well in the comment section below. You can email me nextgenwindows at gmail.com and I'll take a look, hopefully. My name is Quaker, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.